Okay guys, I want to give you a video, a quick tutorial on the off delay relay. Uh, kind of a tricky relay for new guys that, you know, are used to regular relays that don't do anything other than change your contacts when the coil's energized instantaneously. These have a little bit more function. This particular one is using a trigger switch. So what I want to show you is I'm going to disconnect the relay base, relay from the base, show you what the relay looks like. And uh, we get a good look at this from the outside view. Uh, you can see the wiring terminal is on the front, so you can see which ones are common and which numbers are associated with the commons. Two sides to this relay. This particular one is 24 volt AC uh, DC slash off delay relay. And at the top of the diagram, you can see right above the circle, there's a trigger switch. So pretty neat. Uh, what most people don't understand is if you accidentally put voltage to that trigger switch, you'll likely fry and ruin the relay, ruin the switch, because there's actually a voltage present on that. So you might remember, or you haven't done the homework yet, the way these work is coil has to be present, coil voltage has to be present at all times. So all I'm doing here is I just put voltage on this white and red wire to the coil, and that's how those have to be. The reason why there has to be uh, power to the coil at all times is because that's what generates the DC voltage on the trigger switch. And if we need the trigger switch in order for the relay to actually work. So when you plug the relay into its base, which by the way, here's another reminder, these relays on the bottom, in the middle of the pins, there's a plastic uh, shaft that has like a key. It's got a little nubby on that plastic, which means it only goes in the base one way. So you got to look at that before you put it in the base and you got to line it up with this key slot right here. So it means it only goes in one way. This one's got 11 pins. It's not like the other gray base relays that we have that only have 8 pins. So what do we use this for? Let's check it out. If I put this relay into its base, looking at the key, we flip this around and the relay goes in on the first try. If the, what we need to realize now is that there's voltage present on these leads. So how much voltage is actually present? I've actually took a moment to wire nut my lead to one and I could put my hand on this and keep my hands free. So I'm gonna do, right now we've got 11.4 volts DC. And that is because the coil is energized with 24 volts and the integrated circuit board inside this relay is generating this voltage at the trigger switch and it's waiting for that short circuit to happen or the removal of the short circuit to happen. So I'm going to disconnect this now so we can create a short circuit and you'll see I have this other meter hooked up so I can put my meter on ohms and I'll know by testing the trigger uh, that my contacts actually work. So if you look at what I did, I have two leads uh, tightened under the screws of the base and one of them goes to number one and one of them goes to number three. If I come over here and look at my diagram, one is a common. The number that's common, the number that's in common with number one is three and four. So that normally open and that normally close belong only to common one. The other common 11 has a normally open and a normally close and eight and nine belong to 11. Uh, you can see two and 10 is the coil. I have that wired in already and five and six is the trigger switch. So we usually take a set of wires from five and six and we'll go to a common and a normally open or a normally closed on another relay. So when that relay gets energized, it causes a short circuit or removes the short circuit. And this is how it works. So let's pretend that these were already hooked up to a relay, uh, common and normally open. I've got this set for somewhere in the one to 20 second range. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the short circuit on this so you can hear my meter. So right now I'm gonna create this short circuit You'll hear the relay click, and it's beeping, but as soon as I remove it, it's going to stay beeping for as long as I have the timer set for. 
somewhere under 20 seconds. And once that times out, it's going to stop beeping and go back to normally open. And there it goes. So it timed out. So it's the removal of the short circuit that starts the timed off response. So let's do it again. Right now, the coil's energized. It does nothing until you create this short circuit. And when I do this, I want you to think of the basketball, the basketball hoop. The limit switch, once the ball goes by that limit switch, it closes that normally open contact just for a second. But then the spring returns it, allowing the off delay to do its thing. And on that basketball hoop, I had a light hooked up and a horn. I used two off delays, one for the horn, so I can adjust it minimally, so it doesn't sound like we're trying to evacuate the building. And another one where I made the light stay on a lot longer, the rope light around the rim and the light in the ceiling. So pretend the basketball went through the hoop and closed the limit switch. What it's really doing is it's making a common and normally open short circuit. And here it is. Basketball went through the hoop, but then the spring returned. And now the light's on for a long time, and maybe the horn was on for a second on the other one, but then it turned off because I adjusted it to a shorter setting. And the lights are in the ceiling, and now they turned off finally. So that's kind of a good demonstration of how that off-delay timer works. So understand two things you learned from this. There's voltage here as soon as you energize the coil. The coil has to be energized at all times on these off-delays with trigger switches. Understand that... Uh, there's a key on this. These only go in one way, so you got to figure that out. And you're learning another base. You've got 11 screws on this base. You got to know what they do. If you accidentally put a outside voltage to five and six, you'll ruin the circuit board in there that creates that trigger switch because there's already voltage there. One is in common with three and four. Three normally open, four normally closed. 11 is in common with 9 and 8. 9 is normally open. 8 is normally closed. 7 is not used. If this were not a off delay with a trigger switch, you'd have three sets of normally open, three sets of normally closed. 5, 6, and 7 would be replaced with a common normally open and a normally closed. We have those cube type ice cube relays to go with those bases. I can show you that on another lab. So... A lot to know on this. Make sure you take your notes and pay attention before we wire these up in lab because these particular relays are about 150 bucks a pop. So, hope you enjoyed that and see you at the next video.